Hi, this is a very short uh, game maker tutorial. So I'm just going to create uh, what is known as a uh, breakout. So the first thing I'm going to do is just to get a couple of objects in. So I'm just going to call that ball. So let's look for. I may have to use this of my ball, the little dot there. Look at the, the background is set. Uh, it's removed already, so just click on OK. So that's the ball right there. The size is actually the weight is set 32 and the height is set 32. So maybe I should even make the center of rotation there. Maybe you can see right there. Let's click on OK. That's the ball right there. And uh, there's some barriers and board. Let's just scroll that. Maria, look for something to uh, look like a barrier there. Let's see. Maybe here. I might see one or two things here. That we can use yeah let's use this why not why not we can use that as one of our barriers the next thing we need is uh we need uh maybe another barrier we use that as our driver Let's look for a stick that can be used as our driver just to move left and right. Okay, maybe look for something. Yeah, maybe this. Yeah, you can use that as the bat. Yeah, we might as well just change the name to bat then. Yep, bat. Okay. Now let's get the wall. Right click, select the sprite again, get a wall for it. Load the wall. Mm, now we need a wall. Let's get something out there. So here. Yeah, this tiny wall is not too bad. Yep, I think it's about 32 by 32. That's good. That's good enough. And just click on OK. OK. Uh, this ball is 32 by 32 as well. So, uh, just to show you guys, I've changed the ball to something blue. And it's 16 by 16, so I set the center to 8 by 8. So that's good. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, the next thing I'm going to be doing now is just to sort of like create my object. Right click, create the object. So the first object is my wall object wall so let's select the wall right there that's the wall yeah and uh, the visible is checked and the solid is checked as well so the event there will be nothing there and there will be no action so that's the wall right there click on ok so now let's set object let's create object ball as the ball right there. Okay. Object ball is created and ball is selected. Click on OK. Now go back here, select um, barrier. Those are my barrier that are there. So change that to object barrier. I've selected for now. Now the last will be the back. Select a bat, right? I 
as that and then click on OK so all the objects are ready to be used now okay the last but not the least is just uh, let's create the room here we have the room that's the room right there it's not just any like that and uh, right click on object wall you might as well change it change that to 32 by 32 you right click in there hold the shift key down and just copy across be the same thing here. Whoops. Good. Now that we have the wall across, the next thing is just to add some barriers here. So let's just add a couple of barriers here. Okay. Okay, I think that that's about enough. So, and select the ball. Let's just place the ball sign somewhere there. Now, select the bat. Place the bat maybe somewhere here. So, the next thing now is to start the coding. So, I would then double click on object bat select my my events so I'll select the events so the event I intend to use is the keyboard event key left now apply an action that's the move fix left at a speed of 8 to 8 well, let's make that six click on OK. Add another event, keyboard event, right. Okay. Select the right arrow, speed six. Click on event, click on OK. So if I run this program right now, let's click on OK first. If I run this program right now, what you will see is the bat move left and right. But it will not stop. And you see that. You see, I cannot control it, so I, I'm going to walk towards controlling it now. So let's stop that. Okay, get the program back. So I would then go back to my path, add another keyboard event, and just apply no key. If there's no key, nothing should happen. You can see that I've selected the one, the direction is there in the middle and the speed is zero, that's fine. So, uh, because this is a bat that I'll use to hit the ball, I might as well just set this to check the solid. So that's zero, click on OK. OK, so the next thing is for me to then program Let's program my let's program the ball right now. So let's double click on the ball. That's the ball right there. And uh, add events. Great. So the first thing I would do is just to let's, let me apply this score, leave the score there at zero. Okay, let's click on OK. Alright, then uh, apply a caption. Uh, the score caption leave everything the way it's set you just leave it right there click on ok and finally let me just uh, select the move fix select all the arrows here and make the speed let me just make this speed uh, I leave the speed to 6 if I select this as 6 I might as well let's click on ok let me go back to the this object right there chain let's change the speed of that to okay, let's, let's just hit 12 go back to right let's the speed be doubled that 
that's fine. Uh, maybe 10, 10, 10, 10, I think 10 is fine. We'll just change it to 10. Just 10 right there, clicking OK. All right, back, back to the bowl. So the next thing is, let me just apply collusion to the ball. Collusion, if the ball collide with the wall, let it bounce back. Okay, so let it bounce icon. And I'm just going to leave that to the setting the way it is. Just click on OK. All right. So another collusion I'm going to set is the, if the ball collide with the bat. Okay. Let it move up and move down and change the speed to 6. Click on OK. But if the ball collide with the barriers, we change that to let it move down. Um, let it move down. Let's say the speed is 6. Apply destroy. Destroy order. Then uh, uh, might as well add some effect. Effect. Let's get a firewall there. Yeah, that's cool. And then uh, add a score. Let's make that one check relative I guess you guys follow that let's start again that is uh, the three downwards arrow selectors speed is six destroy set to order and then uh, apply an effect I've actually selected firewall I might as well click on relative sorry about that that's good and the score is set to one and relative checked. Well, there's a couple of uh, things that we need to sort of like sort out. In the first place, if the ball, if the bat collide with the wall, what should happen? I will expect the bat to stop right there. So let me set bat collusion with the wall. Okay, let's set this to zero. Okay, so if I run my program now, one other thing is uh, the ball collusion with the wall. I've changed that to precisely. Okay, not precise. Let's change that to precisely, and that's fine. So let's now accept. Okay, okay. Let's try out this program and see what will happen. Or the game, let's see what we happen. Okay, that's fine. All right, I get it back. All right, see that? Okay, that's fine. That's working fine. And the score, if you, as you can see, the score is now increased. The score is working as expected. Not good in playing games, but uh, I can sort of like develop one or two things in it. Yeah, that's fine, that's working fine. Okay. Okay, so let's just increase the speed of the bat and sort of like move the bat down a little bit. Try out the game. So the speed is press F4 for a full screen. The bat is faster since I've increased the speed.
fast. Yeah. That's fine, guys. So that's how you create a breakout game. 